Welcome to Chili Expat family. I want to talk to you today about my generator. Um, and uh, do a little walk down to our creek to see how that's doing as well. Um, first of all, let me show you my generator. Well, it's got a little sight glass on the side here. You can't see it. Well, maybe you can. Let me zoom in on there. Maybe you can. Let me zoom in on there. You see that little sight glass right there? Well, that thing rattled off. And when it did, it leaked all the oil on the floor. Which I got to shovel up. There's concrete there, so it's not in the soil. But, uh, you can imagine what happened when it leaked all the oil. When it leaked all the oil, I wasn't down here. I was upstairs working on the, uh, uh, well, I was running the saw or something. I don't even know. And the, uh, the, the engine bit the dust. So, I need to get a new engine for that generator. And, um, unfortunately, right now, my solar system's on the fritz, too. My... 2000 watt El Cheapo uh, Chinese converter um, died on me. It's three years old. Uh, I paid too much for it, uh, but I paid a lot less than I would have if I bought something nicer. Um, to say you live, you learn is, is not entirely fair. I, I had to do what my economy would let me do. And the fact is, is that sometimes uh, poor people have to uh, take what they can get, and, and in my case, that's what I did with the solar system. And I needed it, and I bought it, and I, you know, I don't think anybody blame but myself. I guess is what I'm saying. Um, so as a result, I've got to buy a new uh, inverter, um, and my generator's down. Well, part of the problem with that is. So I use my generator to pump my water for my well. And that's an issue because I gotta have water. Um, I use it to do the wash, take showers, kind of everything. So, um, so I gotta buy a new engine for that generator. Uh, right now, by the way, I'm walking down the woods from the house. You can see the house up in there. And uh, there's a big brush pile behind me here that we've been, we add to and then we burn up. And uh, because I need a new generator motor, uh, that's gonna be a new used one, diesel, that's what I want, to run my three phase generator. And believe me, that one, that motor, I, I don't wanna rebuild it. I, I didn't find it very efficient, I didn't find it, I found it too noisy and I found it too, too, uh, it had a whole lot of more vibration. Um, it's one very big single cylinder, and uh, because of that, it was always vibrating. Everything was vibrating off it all the time, and it drove me bonkers. Uh, batteries, bolts, nuts coming off of it, and that's finally, uh, literally, what killed it because it, uh, you know, that little sight glass came out, let all the oil go out. So I found a new motor on um, uh, online and uh, here in Chile or a used motor it's a Kubota and uh, I'm probably gonna buy that it's gonna be oh, about seven hundred eight hundred dollars for a three-cylinder um, I think it's an 855 I can't remember the model number on it but <clears throat> it comes with the radiator which was kind of nice and uh, Kubota so I like Kubota's are nice little engines easy to work on diesel so anyhow, all right, so here's my other other thing I'm doing. This is my creek, and on that side of the creek is my neighbor's property, and on this side is mine. Let me pan around. That's all bamboo there. They call it Kila. Here's a creek going downhill. What's left remnant of my son's attempt to build a, a little dam there playing with kids play. 
Now this gets down not to a trickle, but uh, probably a quarter what we're looking at right there in the summertime, in the dry season, extremely dry season. Uh, there are salmon in there and there are trout in there, unbelievably. Uh, big enough to eat one pounders, uh, maybe even two pounders in there. Um, I've actually seen my neighbors uh, get them out of there. Anyways, uh, so what I'm liking to do is I want to put a um, little hydroelectric on this this uh, this creek. My neighbors wouldn't care. Heck, this guy's never been to his farm. He lives in Santiago. He uh, wouldn't know from beans if I build a house right there ever, and nobody would tell him either. Is the other interesting thing. Not that I would, but. Anyways, um, water rights here, interesting little thing. Where I am, for instance, it rained about 10 inches, not last night, but night before last, uh, in one night. So I'm getting anywhere from 90, 92 inches um, uh, a year to 142 inches a year, depending on what valley you are in and where you're located. Where I'm at here in my little community is called uh, Chiriuku. And uh, uh, Chiriuku is not a Spanish word. It's a Mapuche word, which is the indigenous people here in Chile, the Indians. And uh, the translation roughly for Chiriuku is only water. <laughs> in other words, it only has water here. It rains and it rains and it rains and it rains and it rains. And, and this is what my little river looks like right now, my little creek looks like right now. And I'm thinking, even if it was only turning, you know, this much, that'd be enough to charge my solar system batteries, and I could run a few lights, and maybe I could run uh, the the recirculating pump for my hot, uh, my my radiant heat, and I could uh, charge the battery on my computer. That's really all I need. Um, uh, now that we're on solar, to give you guys an idea. We've, we've learned how to conserve our electricity a lot better than we did in the United States. And it's not something that is really painful for us because uh, uh, we don't spend as much time in front of the computers we used to. We don't own a TV, although we do owe a big screen for our computer that we watch movies on. So our most time in front of a screen is watching movies, not watching crap. And uh, we like it that way. We're not so much into the TV thing. It's kind of a grand waste of time for us. So, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do a little hydro here? Um, I don't know, ask my viewers. I'm asking you guys, my subscribers. Um, I can go uh, about a kilometer that way, or give or take, um, 2,000 yards that way. Uh, is where it comes along my property and I'd have to put a, a catchment basin up there and I'd probably run a pipe over to right around here um, about 150 feet that way and I'd be able to put my water wheel and my little my um, turbine down here if that's, if that's what I chose to do through a pipe that's what I would do I wouldn't do a, a flume or a, a, a catchment trough or a flume because it's just too far and there's too many trees that can fall on it and the kids will go swimming in it, so I don't want to play with it. <laughs> so, anyhow, uh, let me give you a better look at this creek here, it's kind of cool. That's what it looks like. And... The neat thing about that is, is Underneath these edges of the creeks, uh, salmon hide up under there. And the Chileans, uh, the people that are here, the, the Chileans, they they noodle up under there. Do what's, what in the United States rednecks we used to call noodling. That's where you put your hands up under there and you, you pull out a salmon or a trout. They hide in there. And they're in here because I've, I've had one of our, a guy here working and uh, he came down here and caught lunch. He pulled out a couple trout. I mean, good-sized trout. And they're, they'll hide under here, under this. There's a, there's an edge up under the under underneath, like a ledge, and and down there as well. There's a ledge you'll see. But that's all on the whole creek. But anyhow, um, therein is my neat little creek, and um, we actually have uh, we actually.
actually have uh, oh probably four or five springs on my property. One of them, if you look in my history, in, in my my playlist, you'll see is uh, our well, which they call a pozo, which is really a spring, a pozo. And um, that spring is contained in, in a pipe like this big, or two of them, culvert pipes, four feet diameter culvert pipes on end. So you got one in the ground and the second one with a cap on it. And we just pump our water out of there and it's clean. I've had it tested and it's never runs dry and it's there for the taking. So we have that. We have the, the creek here, which a lot of Chileans you'll find down creek from us are drinking right out of that. Uh, I guess they filter it or I don't know. Um, and then we also have multiple springs on our, on our little parcel. So we get uh, all the water we need. Actually, we get a lot of water we don't need. Um, so we really don't get flooding because I'm about 60 feet down from the house, the hill I walk down coming down to shoot the video. So the water runs down to this creek pretty quick and out of here. But anyhow, Kind of a neat little idea. I don't need any permits. I don't need permission. I don't have to have an environmental study. The Army Corps of Engineers is not going to bring a battleship up here and commit commit to it and say that this is a navigable waterway and charge me um, seventy, eighty thousand dollars to take the water out for about um, a quarter mile and put it back in. Stupid. They don't have that that problem. There's nobody here. There's no water share up here. Uh, not where I'm at anyways. In the north of Chile they have water issues uh, because it's dry. The driest deserts in the world is in the north of Chile where they haven't had rain in recorded history. So water issues, they have water rights. You gotta, that's a big thing up there. Where I am, the, wa the right to water is like, okay, there's my water. I just caught some. Uh, in it, it's just too much of it. It's not an issue. But anyhow, um, just a little idea. I want to see what y'all think. So, Ciao from Chile Expat Family. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment. Do that little thumb thing. Tell your friends and neighbors about my channel. And uh, I love comments and I respond. Also, I've had people call me directly. I have a U.S. number if you're interested and want to find out what I'm doing or want to talk to me. Just let me know. I'll send you my number. See y'all later. Ciao from Chile Expat.